Here we go, folks. Uh, lesson uh, 2.2, DNA replication. Again, DNA is the inherited factor that we have inside of our cells that we can pass on our genetic information from uh, one generation to the next. So the essential question for the lesson is, how does the structure of DNA allow for its function as the inheritable genetic material in living organisms? In other words, what is it, well, what type of uh, molecule is it that allows the information to be passed on from generation to generation? Learning targets. <clears throat> Describe the basic structure of DNA and the nucleotide. All right, nucleotide is its building block, just like a car is a building block to a train. Um, so the nucleotides will have something to do with the inheritable factor. Create a complementary strand of DNA from a template and explain the scale and relationship between nucleotides, genes, chromosomes, and the genome. DNA is a large molecule made up of long chain of subunits. So you can see this is one train, but it's made up of a bunch of individual cars or subunits. So that's similar to the DNA's structure. It has three different parts. That, those parts are called a nucleotide collectively. The first part is a phosphate group. The second part is the sugar. In DNA, it will be deoxyribose sugar, and in RNA, it will be ribose. And then it has a nitrogenous base. There's five of them. Four of them will be found in DNA. And then one, uh, the U, uracil, is found only in the RNA. So that's your building blocks. Okay, so again, once uh, we, we use this term, a monomer, mono means one. So a monomer is one individual unit. You put a bunch of them together to get a larger unit. Um, so any of our bio molecules, such as carbohydrates, right? They're, they're building blocks for simple sugars or monosaccharides. For the DNA and RNA, the, the monomer to build this big polymer DNA, this really long chain or RNA, uh, will be a nucleotide. That's its individual unit. Parts of the DNA, an RNA nucleotide or its monomer will include, again, the phosphate group. That's a more specific look to it, All right? It's a phosphorus attached to four oxygens. The pentose sugar, five-sided sugar, right? Again, deoxyribose in DNA and ribose in RNA. You can see how they differ just slightly. And then one nitrogenous base, such as adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Those are the four that would be found in DNA only. So if you remember Shargraf, one of our scientists from earlier, he uh, always said that adenine and thymine would be found in the same quantities, which tends to mean they're found together. And then cytosine and guanine are found in the same quantities are found together. So um, if you look at the molecules, the ones on the top, the pyrimidines, have a single um, group. And then the bottom, they have a uh, two, two cyclical, two cycle um, adenine and guanine. Those are our purines, right? So we either have a single or a double. A single always attaches to a double. So thymine with adenine and cytosine with guanine. So one ring versus two ring. All right, if you look at this and you think of it as a ladder that has been twisted, here's your DNA molecule. The sides or where you would put your hands are going to be your phosphate and sugar backbone. And then on the inside are the pair of nitrogenous bases, one for the left side of the, of the ladder and one for the right side of the ladder are connected in the middle. So you see the adenine is always connected with the thymine and the guanine is always connected with the cytosine. Those would be the rungs of the ladder, what you would step on. Every day, every hour, every second, one of the most important events in life is going on in your body. Cells are dividing. When cells divide, they make new cells. Since DNA is in the cell, it must be replicated, make a copy while the cell divides. So that's the process for what we're we want to look at now is how does this replicate itself? How does one cell become two cells with two equal amounts of DNA? So DNA replication is a process in which 
DNA is copied. DNA replication begins with an enzyme. It's called DNA helicase. Any ending with an ASE is an enzyme. Enzymes help processes take place. So DNA hel helicase, helicase breaks the bonds between the complementary bases in the DNA. So it separates the latter, the left side and the right side. DNA polymerase, an enzyme, is used to build two new DNA strands with complementary bases that are in the nucleus. The two daughter molecules that result each contain one strand from the parent molecule and one strand from the complementary one. So every time a new uh, DNA molecule is formed, one side is going to be new and one side is going to be old. The DNA replication is what is known as semi-conservative process because half of the parent DNA molecule is conserved and half is going to be added, added new. You can watch a video. If you click on that there, it's a quiz you can get to. And that's going to be it for 1.2.